Howdy folks, and welcome back to episode 30 of Sky Factory 3. Now, I'm going to start off, we're going to head down to the mob farms, I'm going to show you. I got it sorted out. Uh, I missed. How did I miss? There we go. I'm going to get my sword out because these slimes. Check it out. Ain't that the biggest gas spawner you ever seen? <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's huge. But I'm getting uh, three and four gas at a time. And we're annihilating them. We're just tearing it up. I'm loving this thing. Now every once in a while you get a squid spawns on top of the spawner like that. I don't care. It don't matter to me. Now, there's that. And then I also put in uh, noise mufflers underneath. Uh, and the way I did that is I just poked holes. See? <laughs> poked holes. Put in uh, the sound mufflers. Because these guys are loud. Oh my god, they're loud. But they're not a problem anymore. Every single one of those mob mashers has the looting upgrade in them. So check this out. If I come down here, and if it'll actually register my click, check this out. Gas tears. 12,766 <laughs> from six. Okay, it's working. Over here, I put the uh, Wither Skeleton spawner back in here. And you know that second Blaze spawner I grabbed? I threw that in here too. So I'm getting Blaze rods and uh, Wither Skulls all at once. And this is a nice little setup I've got going here. Much smaller room than the gas. But it works. It gets the job done. I really like the way that this turned out though. Uh, having it built up like this I mean that's just it just looks really cool I like it I like the way it turned out this one not so much I'm not as impressed by it I could definitely do better but it is what it is it's done it's functioning I'm gonna leave it alone all right this guy over here I ran this <laughs> like that so whenever I'm running this guy uh, I am not getting blasted whenever I try to turn it on and off because, you know, withers, whenever they explode, they'll knock you back. And it was really difficult when the uh, stick and a brick was on that block. But now I've got it over here. I'm not even feeling the blast. It's not affecting me at all. But I don't leave it on all the time. We turn it off whenever we're not active. Because I've got plenty of nether stars too. Everything is coming together so nicely. <laughs> I like the way everything's turned out. So we're just going to go back up this way a little bit, get away from the uh, slimes, because I hate it when those things sneak up on me and bounce me off in a different direction. It's irritating. So let's take a look in here. I'm not sure exactly what it is that I want to do today, but I have kind of an idea. I want to take a look again at the environmental tech. Uh, so let's go in here. And we're going to grab this digital guide, work in progress. And I wanted to take a look at some of the options, okay? Uh, let's see here. This is the nanobot beacon. What is it going to take for me to make a tier 4 nanobot beacon? Well, I've got those. And I've got that. And I can make those. It looks like this isn't going to be a big deal. So I'm going to make a nanobot beacon. Now, as far as where to put it, I think I already know where I want to put it. I just have to see how much of each thing that I'm going to need. First things first, I need to make some recipes. So, we're going to start with this guy right here. So, oh, dragon's breath. I don't have dragon's breath. That would be a problem. <laughs> I need dragon's breath so I guess that's one of the things that we're going to be working on today is getting some dragon's breath <laughs> that's an unexpected expense but okay I, we can manage it uh, so there's the third one here's tier four now to make all of those do I have everything that I need already a recipe that one's already a recipe that's a recipe that's fine 
Uh, the only thing that I think... Oh, brewing stand. I make a recipe for that. Okay, we got a recipe for the brewing stand. Uh, gold blocks, not a problem. Modifier core, I should probably make a recipe for the beacon. And, you know what, we're going to leave that as is. I'm not going to use or dictionary on that. Uh, okay, so tier two. More brewing stands, blocks of diamond, not a problem. Modifier core, not a problem. Alright, tier three. We've got the recipe for those guys. We got that, we got that. It's all good. Let's take a look at tier four. Nether stars, not a problem. The only problem is the dragon's breath. Now, I wonder... Can I craft Dragon's Breath, or is there only one way to get that? I can't craft it. Okay. That's what I was afraid of. That's okay, though. We can manage it. Now, for the rest of these, I want to go ahead and make recipes for the rest of them. Let me do only craftable so I can see what I have recipes for. I've got a recipe for the Modifier Core. I've got the recipes for these guys, so that's good. So now, what is this? Uh... I don't really care about that. Don't really care about that right now. Flight modifier. Let's go ahead and make a recipe for that guy. Alright, there's that one. Uh, night vision modifier. Eh, why not? Why not? In case something happens. Uh, oh, well, I'm going to have to make some potions and night vision for that. Uh, let's see here. Haste modifier. Okay, I'll have to make an Efficiency 5 book for that. But aside from that, easy enough. Uh, let's see here. Strength modifier. Always a good thing to have. Going to have to make potions for that. Alright. Uh, what's this one? Water breathing? I don't really care. There's no water here. Region? That one's good. We'll get that. Uh, let's see here. Saturation. That is a good one. But I need chorus fruit, and I haven't seen any. Oh, I can make it. Okay. Okay, I'm not worried about that now. So let's get the saturation. Uh, we'll make that one. Uh, resistance. Always good to have. Let's go ahead and make that one. I'm just making all of these, really. Uh, jump boost modifier. Sure. Why not? I don't have a rabbit's foot. Maybe we'll come across one sooner or later. <laughs> uh, what is this? Fire resistance. Let's go ahead and get that in there. And we need this guy right here, the launcher, to make the uh, flight modifier. So now, once I put all these in, whatever modifier I want, I can get. No problem. Uh, let's see here. The other things... Um, okay, the resource miners... I've got the ore miner is something else that I want. So let me go ahead and make the recipes for the uh, the ore miners. I'm going to need more patterns. Uh, let's go ahead and get that working. Yeah, let's just make up a bunch of those real quick. Uh-oh. Oh, no. How am I out of redstone? How? How? <laughs> How is that even possible? Oh, man. Okay. Uh, well, I guess we'll make uh, half that less than. Jeez. I can't believe I'm out of redstone. Uh, okay. Anyway, anyway, moving on. Uh, tier 2. Let's go ahead and make that one. Uh, we're going to make the Tier 3, uh, which is that guy right there. Let's put these patterns in here so we can go ahead and make that. And the tier four. All right. So now whenever I have the materials, uh, I can go ahead and craft that up and make the uh, resource, the ore miner. Excuse me. Uh, let's see here. I should have everything else good. Uh, so let's come back up to the, uh, or down to bulk storage. That's where this guy is. We're going to throw all these recipes in here, uh, right like so, get on in there. All right, good. Now, I need to make another recipe real quick. Uh, let me see here. Uh, I can't remember what it is. Uh, so if I do that, I need 
That guy right there. Okay, end crystals. I think I need four of those. That shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, no. Nope. Well, can I go ahead and make them? No, I'm out of glass panes. Uh, let me see here. Glass panes. I can go ahead and do this. <laughs> uh, let's do that. There we go. Alright, so we'll get our glass panes. And be able to finish this. Uh, no. No, there we go. Alright. Two, three, and four. Okay, that takes care of that. Now, uh, there was another part. Uh, these guys right here. These end portal frames. I'm wondering if I can actually make my own end portal without having to use the cakes using these. Never tried it before. Never done this. So, let's go right up here. I think. Mm, no, no. We're going to go down to the floor just above the mob farms. Uh, yeah. This is it? Yeah, this is it. And I think this is where I'm going to put my portals. Uh, I don't know. Where is my other one? Uh, let me find it. It is up there. So, I'm going to put them on this wing right here. And let me see here. If I just uh, do something like that. I think it has to be a 3x3. Three three. I wonder if I can get away with doing that. Making it a 4x4. Four four. That's the uh, inside that I'm talking about. If I can manage that. You see, there's four. So if I do that and then run this across. Is this going to actually work? I don't know. I've never done this before. Uh, so, we'll see. We'll see. Let's see how this turns out. Nope. Did not work. Hmm. I must be missing something. That's okay. Uh, let me come back up here. Is my cake gone? I think my cake is gone. Which means I'm going to have to make another cake. Uh... <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Let's make another cake. Um, what was it? It was just end cake, right? Uh, end cake. Yep, yeah, there it is. Okay. Do it. There we go. We now have an end cake. Like I said, not my favorite idea, but whatever. All right. So bottles. Let me grab a couple of stacks <laughs> because I don't want to fight with this. I want to get all of the dragon's breath that I need. And I'm not sure if I can, well, I can already see that I can't craft it. So I'm going to basically load up. I wonder if I can drag out this fight to get more. Let me see about uh, some slabs. Uh, yes, let's plural that. All right, let me just load up on these guys. Because I don't want Enderman spawning, so I'm going to bottom slab it. Uh, but I want to be able to catch the dragon breath. So what we're going to do, let me, uh, let me do this. Oh crap, I've already got stuff in there. Let's just throw all this in there. Throw all that in, throw all that in. Throw the wand in. Okay, let me grab some more slabs. Uh... That right there. Uh, getting low. There we go. Okay, grab a couple more wands. Just in case. Uh, there's those. And we'll get more bottles. And I... That's again, I don't know if there's a way to automate picking up Dragon's Breath. I've never seen it, never heard of it, don't know. Alright, so we'll put the bottles in there. Let's grab some slabs out. Uh, put the other bottles in. That should be good. That should be good. Let's go. Uh, oh, did I sleep in this bed? I don't know if I've slept in the bed since I moved it. Uh, so maybe I should do that real quick. Alright, bed has been slept in. 
So that should have saved my spawn. Now I just need to go all the way back down here. Uh, oh yeah, where was my portal? It's right there. So I guess we'll move over here. I want to figure out this end portal thing. I, why would you give them to us if they can't work? You know what? I want to do it right now because this is driving me nuts. Can I not break this? Oh, you're going to tell me I can't break this? It's like, oh no, I placed these. Oh man. How many of y'all knew that and were face palming when I put that down? <laughs> God. I can't believe I did that. All right. Well, maybe I can do some kind of cheaty something to get rid of that. Because that was a mistake. We got to get rid of that. We'll see about it. I don't know. All right. Let's go to the end. We're going to set up a slab. And. Okay. Yeah. Let's see here. See, that's where I was making a little bit of a Enderman farm. It was kind of a pain in the butt to work with. But that's not what we're doing right now. Right now. We are setting a new platform for the Ender Dragon. End Dragon. Whatever it is. So we're going to just pull all this out. These are all bottom slab. I had put these in before. Uh, and I figure why not use them. And let's get down a little bit so I don't accidentally double up on it. Because that would suck. Okay, how's that looking? Okay, good, good. All right, let's pull this out this way. I don't know if I have enough slabs to do this. I brought out a lot, but I don't think I brought out enough. <laughs> All right, let's bring this out. All right, like so. Okay, that'll be fine for right now, just so we can extend this out. All right, that should, oh, it's missing over here. That's what I thought, okay. And then I just gotta bring these in to match. Okay, come on, survive long enough. Okay, that one's done, let's move on to the next one. <laughs> That's why we brought multiple ones. It's because I knew it wasn't gonna survive. How's our platform looking? It's got a pretty decent size to it, but we still got some more to do. So I want to keep working on this. Oh, no, I said that right as I'm running out. Do I have any more slabs? No, that's it. Oh, crap. Oh, well, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, let's just bring this on out the best we can. Okay. Uh, I don't have any kind of ranged attack. Nothing. I am so prepared. Okay, let's fix that. I guess I can go and get more slabs uh, while I find my bow. Uh, don't know what I did with that. And I will bring you guys back right before I summon the dragon. All right, we are back. I now have this platform spread out quite a bit. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, oh, first things first. Uh, sounds. Hostile creatures. We're going to take this right on down. Just because I know that dragon's pretty loud. I wonder if ambient environment might be a part of that. So we're going to take that right on down too. Eh, close enough. Alright. Let's see if this will actually do what I want it to do. <laughs> and there's the fourth one. Alright. It's going to summon the dragon. Uh, after it fixes all of those, once it fixes all those up, then it'll summon the dragon. Let me grab another one of these ready to go. And I don't have any way to heal myself or nothing. Oh, I did not plan this well. Okay, there's the last one. And now it's doing the dragon. While it's working on that, let's get this opened up. Okay, I see you. Uh, let's do that. Oh, crap. Don't be knocking me around. Okay, there's that one. Let's go ahead and take care of that guy. Oops. Let's take care of this one up here. 
Or not. Alright, are you dropping any dragon's breath for me? Because I would really appreciate that. As soon as hell I need that stuff. Oh, don't hit me. Why are you taking damage? I hadn't been attacking you. Alright, there should only be one left after this. And it's this guy right here. Let me see if I can get down here and take this out before the dragon attacks me. No. Uh, you were being a pain in the butt. I have to say, I do not appreciate. Let's take care of that. Alright, let's get down here. Oh, wow. You knocked holes in this. That wasn't anticipated. Alright, let me see if I can catch some dragon's breath. Come on down. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, give me more. That it? Give me more. Oh, there's some up there. Okay. Is there any more? What was that? I saw some. Oh, there we go. Alright. That's one stack. Wow, everywhere you touch. Alright, is there any more around here? Oh, I missed that. How'd I miss that? Oh, that's how you took damage. <laughs> okay, I'm looking for more dragon's breath. Come on. Oh, there's some. We're going to load up on this stuff. We're going to let this guy stay alive for a while. So I'm going to work at this for a little bit, and we'll be right back. All right, I'm about annoyed with this dragon. So we're just going to put an end to that. <laughs> oh, there we go. Finally. You weren't giving me a whole lot of this dragon's breath. Yeah, most of what I got was that uh, ender, ender, ender air or whatever it is. What is that? It is, uh, yeah, Ender Air Bottle. That's most of what I got. That's a little ridiculous. But, we got some, which should be enough. So, let's go on home. Alright, now that we're back, let's go ahead and just throw all this crap in here. Another Dragon Heart. That's fine. We'll take it. Let's throw that in there. And we're going to get rid of this bow, because uh, I want to make... The dark bow later, but that's a bit uh, involved, so we're not going to do that just yet. Uh, all right, at environmental tech, uh, let's see here. We needed the tier four of the nanobot uh, beacon controller, so we're going to make one of those. And while that's running, we're going to take a look to see what else we need for the nanobot. Uh, which is right here. Um, ch chunk loading, if effects are wanted anywhere you go. Okay, so it needs to be chunk loaded, or I guess it'd be all right if it's at home, but I don't know if I'm at home or not, because I moved around a bit. All right, the tier four is going to require 80 structure bo blocks, 60 machine base, and 16 modifiers. Okay, so 80 structure blocks and 60 machine base. Wow. All right. Uh, so structure tier four. We're going to need 80 of them. <laughs> Good Lord. This thing ain't playing around. All right. So while it's making those, I also need 60 of what was it? I already forgot what it was called. Uh... Machine base. 60 machine base. Alright. So let's take a look here. Machine base. Which is this guy right here. We're going to need 60 of them. Alright. Let's make it. Okay. Well that's working. I also need 16 modifier cores. Uh, 
or modifiers. So let's take a look at what our options are that we can go ahead and get. Uh, we, geez, uh, flight, I can get flight. So we'll go ahead and grab that. Uh, let's see here. Speed, I don't think I need too much of that. Strength, eh. Saturation would be good, but I can't remember what I need for it. For it. Oh yeah, the chorus fruit. How do I even get chorus fruit? Uh, night vision modifier, I don't really need it right now. Haste modifier, I don't need right now. Yeah, that's really the biggest ones that I wanted. I can't even use right now. Okay, so... Hmm, I guess we'll just make some extra uh, cores and be done with it. So I made the flight modifier. We've got our uh, structure blocks and our machine base. Where are they? Structure block. Uh, that's the hardened stone. What? What? Oh yeah, I only needed 60 of the machine base. That's why. Okay. Uh, we're going to need our assembler. And we're going to need 15 more modifier cores just to fill in the space until I make the others. Uh, but basically that's what I got to do is go through and make the parts that are needed for these. Like uh, the regen modifier. Uh, is that what this one is? Yeah, regen. I need to make the potions of regeneration. Okay, everybody knows potion brewing. I'm not going to drag you through that. So I'm just going to make those eventually, and we'll get that in there. Now, as far as the coarse fruit, I don't know what to do about that. Uh, can we even get that? How would... Oh, yeah, that's right. I have, to, I have to make that. I need end essence and nature essence to make that. So basically, I'm making more seeds. All right, end seeds requires end clusters, purple blocks, and end stone. Okay, it's not that big a deal. I don't know if you noticed it or not while I was out there dealing with the dragon, but there were, um, what is it? Um, there was a, a portal to take you to an end city. So there are end cities in this pack. I just got to go find them. <laughs> and then I can get uh, some purple blocks. So it's not that big a deal. Uh, let me see here. I need probably some dirt. That'll probably make this easier. Right, let's get that out of here. Oh, I need the beacon uh, itself. Which is that guy right there. The controller. <laughs> uh, okay. So now I can come up on top of this. And let's see how much space this thing takes up. We're talking about the tier 4. Requires 11 by 11 by 6. This doesn't have a center. Why is it 11? <laughs> oh, man. Um, okay, so what can I do about this? Well, okay, no, no, no. I got this. I got this. All right. The uh, beacon needs a clear view of the sky, I'm pretty sure. So, I guess, and this is an 11 anyway. That's what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Yeah, that's not even big enough. Uh, so, I guess what I can do is stick it off the end over here. Well, it's it's not centered. That's the most aggravating thing is it ain't centered. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Okay, uh, well that's from there. About from here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to hang over the edge. Crap. Well, what about if I take it in about there? That should do it. It's going to cover up this glass. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And it's just barely going to miss that. What about this way? Two, three, four, five. I got a little more room over there. And over on this side, two, three, four, five. You know what? That'll be fine. Two, up, three, four, five. And then it said six, right? Uh, let's see here. Nanobot beacon. 
tier four. Yeah, six. All right, so let's uh, grab this guy right here. And we're going to stick that right on top. We're going to vein mine the dirt out. Come on. There we go. All right, where's my stick? All right, let's whack this with the stick. And it should make this hideous construction that will provide us with nifty effects once it's completed. But for right now, it should just be the flight. Okay. See how I fell? Okay. Whoa. Okay, so I'm losing my flight. Why am I losing that? I think I need to put power on there. Uh, let me grab a flux point. Flux. Right there. And I don't know if... I can't fly. Oh, wow. I can't fly. <laughs> Alright, we're going to stick this right there. And we're going to give this power. Like that. And it should be good, right? Can I fly now? Yes, I can fly now. Even if I take... Well, no, I shouldn't have taken that off. Okay, I'm flying. Flying with nothing. Wow, not... There's something going on with the lighting here. I had the night vision on, so I didn't notice it. But, I have flying. I don't have haste or anything. But, uh, we're good. So let me put this back on. Okay. That gave me a soft landing. Alright, so a lot of the effects that I'm getting from the armor I'm wearing, uh, besides flight, are what make me moving around this area so easy. And the adding flight to this, that was just one of them. I have to go back and add in the others. Which it looks like it'll be fairly easy to do as I find new ones. Like, there it is. There's the flight modifier. So if I get the regen one, I just pop this guy out and put the regen in its place. And I can do that with all of them. As I get the upgrades, uh, I can just swap them out. Uh, get the saturation. That's the one I'm really looking forward to. Then I don't have to eat anymore. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I, there it is. We got a nanobot beacon. The thing is huge. And it is hanging off the corner. I'm going to have to rebuild it somewhere else. That's ridiculous. I don't know. Maybe I can make the top of this thing a little bit bigger so that it'll accept that. But again, it's an odd number. It's And I made an even numbered base. So, eh. <laughs> it's going to be a pain in the butt anyway. I look at it. I have to figure something out. I have, I'll have to do something because it's hanging off the edge here and I don't like that. But, but, that is going to do it for today, folks. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye now.